I'll now demonstrate how Wirecast works for streaming video. And Wirecast is sort of a TV studio in a software application and you can combine external video sources like your webcam or in this case I take the output from this particular broadcast you'll see in a moment and uh, you can combine it with graphics and audio and so on. So uh, first what I will do is uh, I will set up the document um, uh, settings here. Um, well, actually, that's not the place, no. We go here, we set up the ratio to be 720p, which is HD quality. And um, then I want to add my built-in eyesight camera. Okay, and there you go. It acquires the picture from my built-in camera in the laptop. I can also insert the input from my... Um, broadcast here. So what you see here is the input from uh, actually this particular broadcast. As I'm speaking to you, I'm now checking in this uh, signal. Um, it didn't recognize the uh, ratio correctly, but this is possible to fix like that. Then uh, one of the things in Wirecast is that you have multiple layers. So what you see here is that we are now on master layer three and uh, we could go to another layer like layer two, which we have right here. And on that layer, I could put um, a picture and I've prepared two pictures for this little demonstration. And those are a title and a screen. So I take these two in. And what you see now is that I, by clicking this picture, it becomes the title of my movie. So this could be a screen where I will show the title of my movie, the logo of the company, DTU, etc. And um, I can fade it in and out by turning it on and off like this. And um, this is pretty useful, of course. So let's imagine that I'm now going online with my broadcast. So da da da, I now have some music starting the whole thing. Da 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 da, -da and then music is out. And then here comes me. And then we go to this picture. And we can turn on the title for me. So now here we have the, the name of me uh, on the screen. And um, uh, then, of course, I can turn off the layer again and I can also go to another uh, camera and I can even go to a blank shot if I like to do that. Okay, so this is what you can do in Wirecast, but just for simple streaming of the content from a box like this, which takes in HD signal from our professional cameras, we are also able to stream it to outside services like a QuickTime streaming server or YouTube live stream. There are some online services we can use. And the way you do that is you set up a broadcast in broadcast settings right here. And here you can see that I already set up a stream to um, Ustream. And, um, or did I? Yeah, I think I could maybe change it to something different. Okay, so I think I'll just remove it. And then we say, okay, I set up a new stream and this stream should go to Ustream. And I want to use high bandwidth that's uh, that's possible we can use this one and um, then i need to enter the username and also the channel let me add dtu test and then i generate this particular link and i need to provide my password to ustream okay and then I click save. So all I need to do now is actually to go to Ustream to start my streaming. And I open a web browser, go to Ustream. And at Ustream website, I am already logged in as Learning Lab DTU, as you can see up here. So I click the broadcast button, select the channel. This is the same channel as the one I mentioned in uh, setting up the broadcast information back in Wirecast. And in this window, I'll soon be ready to broadcast my stream. So um, we are just waiting for it to configure a few things. And we answer no to accessing the built-in uh, web camera in the laptop because we don't need that. Now, um, we are ready at Ustream and we can go back to the Wirecast. In Wirecast, we now press the broadcast button. 
And if we go back to Ustream, we should see that, there we go. Yes, we would like to switch to the FME stream, as it says, we click yes, and now it starts the broadcast. So it's probably delayed just a little bit, but it should be broadcasting our picture from back in Wirestream. So let's see. In Wirestream, yes, we have just the blank picture. That was confusing to me, but if we change the input signal to the one coming from our live system right here, then we go back to Ustream and we should see, yes, the picture from me with a few seconds or maybe just a single seconds delay.